Okay, this is just a quick video to show you how to apply multiple image textures in Cycle Render. Hopefully my audio will work well enough that you can understand me. I'm afraid it's not very good on this computer, but let's see how it goes. Okay, I've already assigned materials. Make sure you're in Cycles Render. And I've already assigned materials here to this box. I'm just using a, just a box for this demonstration. Move it up a little bit here. Okay, so in edit mode, select the whole object. Get rid of this here. And unwrap it. So for this, I'm going to use Smart UV project, and this is with the whole object, so this is going to be the main UV map. So I'm going to go down here to the UV map and rename it, and I'll just call it Cube UV. And I'm going to create a new image and call it Cube UV, just so it's easy to identify. And I'll just leave it at the default, uncheck alpha, OK. OK, so now that I have that, I'm going to apply the textures to each of the materials. So go back to the materials and deselect all. And I'm going to start with the gravel and select that material. Then open up the node editor. And here you have the default nodes. I'm just going to move those over a little bit. And first add an image texture. And then Shift D to duplicate that. Now, this one we're going to hook up to the diffuse. And open. I've already loaded my images, so I'm just going to select it from here. Gravel. And this image texture, we're not going to hook up to anything. We're going to open the original image that we made over here in the screen, cube UV image. And the last step here is to add input, UV map, and in here select our, uh, sorry, I missed a step, let me go back. So now I'm going to start with the first material, that's gravel. Select that. So it shows only the gravel on the UV map. But I want to create a new UV map for this. So click on the plus sign. Rename it. Gravel UV. Something that you can recognize which texture it's going to be. And then if you haven't opened your node editor, Open that over here. And first we're going to add a texture, image texture. Shift D to duplicate it. We're going to need two. And hook up the first one to the diffuse. And I've already loaded my uh, image textures. So I'm going to open the image for gravel. If you haven't, then click on the file and you can select it from your computer. And in this image, we want to choose the first image we made, the cube UV. So the one that we made when we had the whole thing selected. And the last thing here is to add an input UV map. Plug that into the vector on the image texture and select the map for gravel UV. So all of these nodes pertain to your material and texture, and this one pertains to the full object. So make sure that this one is highlighted so that it's active before you leave this material slot. Okay, now we can deselect that one, go back to the material, and choose the second one. Select. 
Okay, then we go back over here. Of oh, course, we have to create our new image map. Rename that uh, leather UV. Okay, then same thing over here. We're going to add a texture, image texture. Shift D to duplicate it. Plug this one into the diffuse and choose our leather image. Add input, UV map. Plug it out into the vector and choose the map for leather UV. And over here, again, choose our cube UV. That's the first image that we made with the whole object selected. Make sure that that is uh, highlighted. Now you can open this your image here so that you can see how it looks. And if you go into material mode, you can see how that looks there. So you can adjust your UV if you want. You can scale it okay, so that it looks different. You can make it smaller. You can rotate it. Okay, the same as you do with any UV mapping, you can do that, and you can scale it right off the photo, that's fine. Okay, so now that we've done that one, let's go to our last material, the brick, select that, create a new UV map, rename it brick UV. is terrible today. Okay, then go over to the node editor and do the same as you did the last time. Add texture, image texture, shift D to duplicate it, plug it into the diffuse, open the brick image, add input, UV map, plug it into the vector, and choose the UV map for brick. Then the last step is to open the cube UV image here and make sure that's active before you leave. Okay, so now you can see we have all our images. Now if this were a wall, I would want that to look different. So I'm going to open up the brick image and rotate it. So that the bricks are going the right way. Now, of course, you want to check all the sides, make sure that they're all correct, and you know, change them all, whatever needs to be, so that it looks the way you want it to look. Okay, so now that you have all of them, let's select all again and go back to first go to the UV map, cube UV and reload the image cube UV. So now we're back to our original image and our original UV map. Okay, so go into object mode. Now, you'll notice that this has gone completely black. Don't worry about that. And now in this video, I'm not going into all the sampling and lighting and all of that. I'm just showing you how to apply multiple image textures. Okay, so you need to know all that other stuff before you do this, and there's lots of tutorials to show you that. I'm still a novice at this, so I just happened to figure this out, and I wanted to show some of my friends in a group how to do it. Okay, so once you've uh, you see this black screen, go to your render tab, bake. And I'm just going to bake combine. And as long as you see this progress bar up at the top here, then you know you're good to go. Depending on how you have your sample set, whether you've added bump maps or anything else, it may take a while to bake. But it looks like this one is going to go reasonably fast. Uh, that's on purpose. I made this really low poly so that uh, it would bake quickly. Okay, 
So we'll just give this another minute or so and we should be done. And this is for exporting for use in OpenSim. Um, there's not many tutorials showing us how to do this kind of thing, so I wanted to let you guys know. Okay, so now you can see we have our image texture here. Okay, so we want to save that. You can pack it if you want. I'm just going to save it as an external image and rename it Cube Text. And save that in my folder. Okay, then you just export your object as usual and uh, upload it. Okay, so for this, I go export the DAE file, apply modifiers if you haven't already, just in case, selection only, only selected UV map includes UV textures, and then it's going to triangulate on export. And I think I'm done. I'm just going to name this cube and save it. And then save my file. And we're done. So let's get this uploaded in World and see how it works. I'll be right back. Okay, so there we go. It's uploaded now. As you can see, it's. Uh, the textures work perfectly. Now you can do this with more complex models. I did do it on this cabin. And this one has five textures. Oh, sorry, this part only had three. Okay, but you can do it with more complex models as well. So that's how you apply multiple image textures. Uh, procedural textures work a bit differently, but there's tutorials on those as well. So this is just something we were trying to figure out how to do. So now you know how to do it. Thanks for watching and I hope it helps.